And there's an extensive literature on the clinical validity of key 67 so it, it is a marker of proliferation that matters for prognosis especially of ER positive breast cancer it probably has a role in prediction many people think that it can substitute for more complex and, and more expensive molecular tests and so one of the big pros is that it's cheap it's easy it can be done widely in, in laboratories all around the world and it, it measures biologically what you want to measure which is proliferation the biggest problem we have is poor analytical reproducibility in key 67 scores. If you take different pathologists and ask them to look at the same cases, the same slides, they will come up with different values for the key 67 index. And, and particularly, there'll be differences in this critical range, in the 10 to 20 percent range, where a lot of the clinical decision making would be. So, although it's testing something that's biologically important and a lot of the fundamentals about the assay itself work really well. It's the scoring and interpretation requires to be quantitative and quantitative scores are just poorly reproducible between pathologists.